our band met, I guess kind of at all different times. Our mandolin player, Eric, Barry and I started playing as a duo in Duluth. And at one of our shows at this little uh, bar, this guy was sitting in the audience and then came up after the show. So I just asked him if I could play with them sometime. And he said, sure. Yeah. And then uh, we slowly just kept adding members in the years since. Throughout our whole career, uh, plenty of criticism from the traditional bluegrass and folk world. We've also been really accepted by a lot of them too. There's always going to be people that hear something, they like something exactly how they like it, and anybody that's a little different than that, there's no time for it. But I always take it with a grain of salt, allow them their space, and just keep doing what we want to do. For me, the outdoors is always where I've been able to reset. Um, whether it was from getting home from touring or you know, working or, or, or really anything. That's the place where I always feel like I can go and get back to zero and come back kind of recharged. When I you know, like to get away, I just pack my truck up and, and find some dirt road and see where it goes and, and uh, sometimes wind up just camping right there. Sometimes you, know, you just hang out by a river or a lake for a little while and then get back in the truck and get back to reality. Yeah, hopefully not <laughs> too soon. I like the Honda Ridgeline. It's very versatile um, and very rugged. You can take it wherever you want. It's, it's a tough truck. It looks great. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features. Honda's definitely been known for like, reliability and versatility throughout the years of making vehicles. What's next for us? We have, I mean, we have a lot of shows booked and we're just waiting like everybody else to see what's gonna happen. But uh, We're definitely set up and ready to go whenever it's allowed. Yeah. That's for sure.